projects like Vodafone, Can Energy and others facing retrospective tax demand in India will have to withdraw legal cases and not contest the constitutional validity of the retrospective amendment uh, tax laws. Now this, if they wish to avail the dispute resolution scheme, and this is as per the second set of frequently asked questions released by the Central Board of Direct Taxes over the weekend. Remember, the Finance Minister during his budget speech this year had announced the one-time dispute resolution scheme as far as the retrospective taxation issue is concerned. Timji Jepuria was the one who broke that story. Yeah. Timji, what else did the FAQs provide clarity on? FAQs very clearly say that any case which is pertaining, which is linked to the retro tax, even before the tax amendment came into power, that is 2012, can avail a benefit in this scheme provided the taxpayer withdraws the case. Now remember, government has also very clearly clarified that in the cases where government has initiated an appeal against the taxpayer, then there is no relaxation. Government will not withdraw those cases because government does not have provisions to withdraw those cases. So those cases will come continue. So another uh, relief which was likely to be seen by the taxpayers has gone by and uh, the relief is not there for such cases where government has initiated an appeal. Secondly, the government has made it clear that the, um, the uh, dispute resolution window which is open till 31st of December, that remember there are only four days left, there will be one time payment. There is no installment payment mechanism that can be availed under the scheme, unlike the previous scheme such as ideas where government had given a relaxation to the taxpayers saying that you can pay in four equal installments. Another uh, window of relaxation which the government or the taxpayers were seeking from the government has been ruled out. Secondly, no exemption from the retro cases is provided, say for example, the two big dispute cases that is Kane and Vodafone. In those cases, government has made it very clear that they can avail a benefit only if they withdraw their petition. Now, Kane and Vodafone have clarified to the government time and again and what my sources also say, say as of today, that Kane and Vodafone want to continue with the arbitration process and they don't want to go under the dispute resolution scheme. Another thing, the cases which are related to services, ta services prov uh, providing fees or royalty, they can also avail a benefit. So there are small relaxations, but overall government continues its harsh stand and they do not want to give any relaxation to the taxpayer. They want the scheme to be notified right. and to be implemented as it is. Back to you. All right, Timzi, thanks for breaking that down up for us.